At the start of the film, we are introduced to a young girl who is driving her car and was going somewhere and was a little worried. Then she gets a call from her doctor who says that Sadie, you had to come to meet me today. We had an appointment today. I know you are very sad because of the death of one of your employees. Sadie says yes, but I am fine. I am very sad. She was a little like me. The doctor says that you will have to forget this incident soon. Otherwise, all this will have a lot of effect on your work. But Sadie was still unable to forget anything. Now we are shown another character in this story, whose name was Cole, who was a farmer and worked at a plant shop. Sadie also wanted to buy a plant, and luckily she reaches the coal shop. Now, as soon as she left, she liked a plant. Cole says, OK, so you like this plant. But yes, look, you will have to water this plant in two or three days, otherwise this plant will wither. Sadie says, oh no, I can't take this plant again because I have to stay out of the house for two or three months because of my work. Cole listens to her and says, so madam, there is no plant here for you, because no plant has ever been born that can survive without water, can walk. Yes, if you want, you can take this plastic plant. When there was a debate between them, then a lady comes, who was the owner of this shop, where Cole used to work. He had given Sadie his favorite plant. Now that lady says to Cole, I thought you would take that girl's number. She was so cute and you were arguing with her. Cole says, sorry, madam, I don't come here to do this work. Anyway, at the behest of that lady, he goes to Sadie, who was just about to leave, when he comes in front of his car and stops the car. So the plant that Sadie had bought from him, it falls and breaks. Now Cole directly asks Sadie, will you have coffee with me? Sadie was surprised to hear this, that she does not even know him, yet he wants to have coffee with me. But Sadie also agrees and was ready to have coffee with him. They both talk a lot while drinking coffee. Sadie tells about herself that I often have to stay away from home because of my work. Cole tells her that I also have a lot of interest in reading history, apart from growing crops. They both talk a lot. Sadie says, I have never been afraid of anything. Cole says, OK, so this is the thing. Come on, you are looking at those stairs. Race with me. If you lose, then you will have to tell. What are you afraid of? They both now teach the race to climb the stairs, in which Sadie was ahead of Cole. She wins. Cole was quite surprised to see this, but he liked to know all this about Sadie. She says, I left my city with my mom in my childhood. My mom was very brave. I also want to be like her. Now while talking, they spend the whole night together in which they were sharing their sorrows with each other. Cole was very happy with all this, that someone has come into his life, that too, a girl like Sadie and so beautiful. Now when he goes home, he goes home and tells his mum, dad and sister about Sadie. After hearing this, his family was very happy. Cole was crazy about Sadie. He used to message her day and night. His mom and dad tell him that, look, you should not message like this, wait a little. Cole also understood what they said. He does not message Sadie now, but he did not get any message from Sadie. Many days had passed. Cole is now very worried. He was not interested in any work. Then he remembers that his inhaler is left with Sadie, who used to help him breathe. Actually, Cole had a breathing problem. Now he tracks Sadie with his inhaler. He tries to find her location because Cole used to keep a tracker in his inhaler. He found out that Sadie was in London. When Cole finds out this, his mom says, you should go and surprise her. She will be very happy to see you. But poor Cole had never been to any other city or country. But this time, he agrees to his mom's words and reached London. Now, when he gets down at the airport, some people catch him and take him away. They were calling him the name of the old taxman. He also took Cole with him. Now, when Cole comes to his senses, he says, first, you killed one of our men. Then you stole our stuff 
and now the passcode. I don't know why you are after our boss. Cole says to that man, no man, I am not a taxman. You have some misunderstanding. I am a simple farmer who came to London to meet his friend. That man says, okay, you act well, but you can't escape from us now. Cole says to him, I am not lying. You can check my passport. Then that man, to torture Cole more, was going to leave an insect on him. Then Sadie comes there, who broke the door of that place and comes and kills that man from behind. He was wearing a mask on his face. He also saved Cole, and when she takes off her mask and shows, then Cole says, Sadie, what are you doing here? Sadie says, I will tell you all this later. After this, she was killing one by one there with her gun and also gives a gun to Cole. She says, to kill everyone except me. She tells him about her work here. She says, I am a CIA agent. They had laid a trap for our agency in which you got trapped. They think you are a taxman, but what do they think? I will get trapped in their trap so soon. This cannot happen. Cole was worried to hear all this. They jump from a hill and both sit in a bus where Sadie was driving the bus and was shooting at those men who were coming behind them and their boss hits the cars. There was also a very strong blast in a car. All the cars were destroyed. Then this goon comes inside the bus who was about to kill Sadie, but Cole had saved Sadie's life. Both had escaped from those goons. Sadie stops the bus at one place. Cole tells her that you are a liar. You have lied to me. You told me everything wrong about you. Sadie says no. I told you everything that I had not told anyone till now. On which Cole says, oh, okay. So that means I am the biggest fool in the world who believed a girl like Sadie. Now I think I shouldn't have believed you. And the story that you told about your employee, that she died, that too seems false to me. Sadie says, yes, that story is false. Because I killed my employee myself, she was in the company of individuals who are hostile to me. She had cheated me. Cole wanted to go back from here. Sadie says, no, you can't go now. Because those people who are my enemies consider you a taxman. You will have to come with me. Sadie had come to Pakistan's Khyber Pass with Cole. There, she had to meet a man. Now that man tells Sadie that the people who had caught you, they have stolen the ash tag, which is a biochemical weapon and very dangerous too. And if it comes in the hands of the wrong man, then a lot will be destroyed. And only one man can do that work, whose name is Levick. Now that man tells the whole story of Levick. Here we learn about Levick that he used to work for a secret agency in France. And then later, he started working for himself, in which the things like buying and selling weapons were common. That man tells Sadie everything about Levick. If you want to catch him, then be careful. He is a very dangerous man. Now, when that man was talking to Sadie, then Sadie says that I need your help. I need some of your men. Then a man with a red shirt comes from behind and kills that man and tells Sadie to go with him. Then another man comes from behind and kills the man with the red shirt. Now that man tries to take both of them with him. Then another man comes and kills the first man. Now the man with the red shirt catches them again. All this was happening because, because Levick had kept a very big reward on the head of coal. The taxman used to work for the CIA's secret agency, and he also knew the passcode of that biochemical weapon. Now, how did he escape from there? While going in the car, Sadie tells Cole, hashtag is actually a very dangerous weapon, whose passcode only my employee knew. She wanted to tell Levick about this, but before that, she tells that I killed him, and also killed that passcode if Levick opens the weapon from that passcode, then he will use it in a lot of wrong things. Saying this, Sadie makes Cole unconscious. 
On the other hand, Levick had kept the name of heavy money on the head of coal. Now Sadie had made a plan, tied coal and brought it to Levick. And says, oh, so you are a tax man. I can understand by looking at your condition. At one time, I also used to work for the CIA. When their work is over, then the CIA people leave their men just like that. All this happened to me too. Anyway, leave it. Tell me the passcode quickly. At the same time, Sadie tells Levick, until you don't give me the money in my name. Till then, I keep an eye on it. And like this, Sadie also came with coal in Levick's plane. But soon, Levick's men find out. That coal and Sadie are together. And because of this, there is a fight in the plane. Sadie was fighting Levick's men very bravely. Then he gets stabbed while fighting. She was injured. Seeing this, Cole takes Sadie and the biochemical briefcase. He jumps from the moving plane. Now, when Sadie came to his senses, he was in a jungle. It feels very good to know that Cole saved his life. The next morning, Levick and the CIA men were looking for them. Because they had a biochemical weapon briefcase, they were both in the jungle. Now there is a fight between the CIA and Levick's men. Here, Sadie could only save one thing, Cole or the briefcase. He chose Cole. Now Levick's men get the briefcase, and the CIA took Sadie and Cole with them for questioning. Why did he let Levick's people take the briefcase? Now the agents of the CIA and the FBI decide that they will tell Levick half of the passcode. They were going to call him to a hotel to tell him, so that they can catch him. And for this, they ask for Cole's help. Because in the eyes of Levick, Cole was the taxman who knew the passcode. Despite not wanting Cole, he is ready to help them. Sadie refuses him a lot that there is a lot of danger in this work. But still, Cole was ready to help them. But Levick soon found out about the CIA's move. He kills those agents who were guiding Cole. Now he goes to Cole and says, come on, tell me the passcode or I will use my way. Then you will tell. That's when Sadie comes there. And Levick says that the taxman you are looking for is me. Levick had found out that the real taxman is Sadie. There, Sadie had also called the real leader. Levick used to work for whom? Whose first Levick was an agent. Sadie tells the leader the passcode, and in return, he had transferred a lot of money to Sadie's account. Levick gets very angry seeing this. He shows Sadie a gun and says, I will end your life. You did not do good to me, such a big betrayal. That's why Sadie says loudly in that hotel that Levick has been given a very big reward. After hearing this, all the people there were after Levick, and that's why there is a fight there. Levick's people wanted to take the briefcase, while other people were catching Levick there. Cole was killing Levick's men. There, Levick was about to kill Sadie. Then Cole comes. He came and saved Sadie, and Sadie kills Levick. The building in which he was, he was at a very high place, because of which Levick fell down and died. In this fight, the leader also dies. Cole and Sadie had also saved that biochemical weapon. At the end of the story, we are shown to Cole and Sadie, who were sitting together and eating with their family. And then after that, they started living happily. And with this happy ending, the story of this movie ends here. <laughs>